Salesperson keeps convincing me that I need carefree plan for my new furniture. We recently bought a new home and it's a lot bigger than the old one. A trip to the furniture shop to pick out some replacements. The salesperson was completing the card and right before we closed the ticket. He kept trying to convince us to buy the extra care plan. He gave all the runaround scenario like, do you have pets, kids, guests that will visit etc. One of the things I came in for were bar stools. I got four of them. And I asked if I can just buy a care plan for one bar stool and he said yes. Okay, for $14.99 I bought the care plan that will cover for 5 years and I'll claim the warranty if any. Chair breaks. It has no barcode so they won't know which is which. I think the guy realized when he gave me the receipt. Cause he smiled and said that's sneaky. Oops. Too late. That reminds me of when I worked in a call center years ago when I was in university. Doing customer service for a phone carrier. A woman called in with two identical phones on two different lines her plan. Our replacement insurance was tied to the line number. Not the physical phone. She had paid for insurance on line 1 but not line 2. We had no record of which phone had which SIM card in it. She called in to say that one phone had fallen and broke. I asked her which phone. She said line 2. I explained only line 1 had insurance and asked if she was sure it was line 2 that was broken. She insisted it was. I tried hinting as hard as I could that whichever phone has the line 1 SIM card in it is covered. And they could be swapped. She wasn't having it. She doubled down that it was line 2 that was broken and started getting angry with me for asking so. Many times. I eventually had to process her replacement at full price and she just kept cursing herself for not. Getting insurance on both. Sometimes people just don't put it together even if it's spelled out. I am almost positive that the person helping you out was just as happy to sell one plan rather than none they don't care what you do with it but they get their commission and add to their numbers my mother once bought an extended warranty for her appliances that was actually useful because it came with price protection if they sold the item at a lower price in the first year she could phone them and ask for money back she paid about 300 dollars for the warranty which she has never needed to use but she got nearly $1,000 back when everything went on sale at Black Friday and another few hundred. When they went on sale again for Boxing Day, I never would have guessed those could actually work out in your favor. I used to work for a hardware store. We were constantly reminded how we absolutely have to sell the extended warranty. No one wanted to buy it. I don't blame them. I'm not one to get a warranty for absolutely everything thing I purchase. The store had a 90-day return policy anyways. But if anyone bought any cordless tool that had a lithium battery I would just say buy the one year. Extended warranty and come in before the day it expires and just tell them it stopped working. They don't even inspect it they just replace the entire unit including the lithium battery. It's like getting a new tool and battery for a quarter of the price of your original purchase. But a year later, was a good loophole because if you know you'll be using it a lot you're going to want to replace. The lithium battery anyways and just the battery itself costs a lot. Thanks for the idea op. If I ever buy multiple bar stools, I'll be sure to use your method if such a warranty is an option. They are deeply incentivized with their compensation bonus tied to those plans. It's sad. Extended warranties can be a good thing like from a certain blue electronics store. I bought a TV for around $500 and paid like $100 for a 4-year warranty and wouldn't you know it the TV seems to break close to 3.5 years later. So I get the TV replaced for free and buy a new warranty for $100. Repeat process to get a new TV every 3 years or so. 
Flatmate worked for an electronics retailer. Needed a new TV and even at full retail he'd make more off the care plan. So TV went through at staff rates and I bought the care package. Was still well under retail. He gave all the runaround scenario like. Do you have pets? Every piece of furniture we have purchased. They've tried to sell us on the carefree plan and they always mention pets and how it's great to have if you have pets. Except they never cover pets. In fact, they will use the fact that you have pets to get out of what should be normal wear and tear. Been burned twice by two different companies. Never again. Actually if you bought that policy. He is probably writing a customer did not want worthless plan for four stools. Okay I will only sell you one. If you ever call for service. Expect to only be able to use it once. They will likely mark the bar stool and only service the one from then on. I've seen someone try this. You will need to keep a copy of your sales receipt as well. And it has all four stools on it. You will need to turn over the receipt to get warranty service. If you were really smart you would have bought one with a warranty. Then the other three on a separate sales receipt. Former salesperson. One of my IKEA chairs. Out of 12. Is breaking. A plastic. Brace on the bottom broke. The chair is 6 years old. I think I spent 3 bucks on a pair of braces. In seconds with the power drill. I think I'm still ahead. They don't care how you use it. If you somehow use the care plan to rob the store at gunpoint. All that matters to them is that you bought it from them and help them reach their daily quota. Best in mind that if you buy something like a sofa from a place like Ashley, Haverty's, Bassett, etc., the warranty is worth it because that furniture is poorly made and you will use that warranty. Salesperson tried to convince me to buy a carefree plan. So I bought one. Take that Mr. Salesman. Not gonna lie. I wish I did it. We bought our second house and thought nah. Don't need it. We bought all new living room furniture and didn't give it a second thought. Fast forward about 6 months and thought another cat would be cool. Our current cat never scratched anything. Our new one is the damn devil. Now both of them suck. I legit have the tags from the store on the back of my couches still but nothing I can do because I declined the warranty. I wish I would have. Maybe this will help some poor dummy like me. If not, please no hate. Actually if I were him I'd use that to his advantage. His manager probably breathes down his neck about making sure to ask every customer. Every time. About those stupid plans. That's a really good way to pitch it and will likely result in more plans sold. When I worked at Sears back in the day all my manager cared about was the fact that I asked the customer to buy one and in the end, how many I actually sold. Hopefully he was smart and pitched it this way moving forward. I used to work at one of the defunct electronics places with comp in its name. Most of my job was to sell warranties called TAP. I forget what it stood for. But every worker there knew that having a warranty meant that we'd actually just replace something. With no questions asked. So we bought them on everything. One guy bought an entire computer part by part. Tap on everything. And then two years later he brought the whole thing in with all his receipts. And they just gave him a new iMac. Which was about the same value as everything he bought two years ago. I wasn't that bold but I did do it with an iPod. Brought it in a week before the warranty expired and they gave me a brand new 1-5 generations. Newer. I used to accurately tell customers they should buy tap because we'd replace it no questions asked. Most people didn't believe me. If the salesperson is smart they will use that to gain loyal customers that will actually use the plan. 
What could possibly happen to a bar stool that would be worth gambling $14.99 on? If the thing falls apart in the first 30 days it would be reasonable to return it anyway. What's going to change after 30 days? He didn't care about the malicious compliance. Because you were enabling his own. I.e. I'm willing to bet dollars to donuts that his sales metrics required a certain percentage of warranties be sold. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.